Hello guys, it's Shit Kim Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco Who? and welcome to my channel. Ah! And as for this video, we're testing FSR 3.1.4 and I know that you guys have been asking me a lot lately, lately to do it. But yeah, this is the first day that I just woke up and I said, well, yeah, it feels, I'm feeling like recording and yeah. Just do it! Today's sponsor! Today's video sponsor is GVG More! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And usually I do this on live, so I test 3.1.4, I test 3.1. something. Basically, I test several things in order to show you live. And in this case, I'm gonna do basically the same. But I did render some side-by-side -side comparisons because I wanted you to know how they look side-by-side. -side. I recorded these ones with Silent Hill and then Fort Solis. And I'm comparing FSR 3.1.2, which is the native in Silent Hill 2, versus FSR 3.1.4 that I used through the LSS swap. So I used the LSS Swapper to change from FSR 3.1.2 to FSR 3.1.4. And this is the recording that we have at 4K performance mode. And by the way, it seems that FSR 3.1.4 is a minor update as part of the AMD Fidora FX SDK 1.1.4, basically a minor update according to AMD's own words. AMD FSR 3.1.4 includes several fixes for issues including reduced upscaler ghosting in newly... In new, in new, <laughs> in newly disoccluded pixels compared to FSR 3.1.3. Now, is it improved only with the with um with the DLL files? So if you just change the DLL files, the DLL files, will it be better or it needs to be also improved or implemented inside the game in order to be better? That's what we're going to see. Now, as I stated, Silent Hill 2, FSR 3.1.2, which is the native one implementation, versus FSR 3.1.4, and even on video you can see the shimmering is the same. In terms of, of what we can see here in the cabinets, again, the same shimmering on one and another side by side. Not many things changed. We have around the same shimmer, we have around the same film grain, we have everything. So the quality is basically the same going from 3.1.2, to 3.1.4, so no major updates. In this case scenario, it is basically the same as well. It seems though that in the car in the back, we do have a little less shimmer when we're looking at the headlights. Look at the headlights of the truck. If you look on 3.1.2, you can see that we have a bit of shimmer here. Let's go back a bit. But as soon as you look to 3.1.4, it seems to be um, quite fixed. Look at one, look at it again. A little shimmer as soon as we go to the 3.1.4 the shimmering is a bit less indeed nothing really relevant but definitely a bit less and if you look at the hair things are the same still the same shimmering in the hair with 3.1.2 and 3.1.4 if we reduce the speed to 0.5 times and we do kind of a slow motion on the leaves something that the, the 3.1.4 should have improved we're talking about ghosting improvements or the seclusion improvements and if we look side by side yeah i guess that's that amd just can't do magic here without going to fsr4 and ai we can still see the ghosting here with fsr 3.1.4 and the ghosting still appears with FSR 3.1.2. So both scenarios do present ghosting issues or this occlusion is issues. I guess there's nothing really relevant here per se. Now we have another side-by-side -side comparison now attacking because this is one of the, one of the weakest points of FSR 3.1 or FSR 3 or FSR 2. One of the weakest points again, this occlusion, especially in movement. Now, as soon as we stop it, look at it, for example, we have residues of the image here we have lots of pixelization look at the hair for example look at the hands look at the yeah so the pixelization is a real thing and one of the worst points of fsr3 and at 0 0.25 times speed you can definitely see it and you can see that uh, yeah we do have kind of a, a halo around the character now 0 0.10 times and yeah look at this for example yeah, this is insane. We can go a bit back and see again. Look at this. Yeah, it's just, look, the 
it just passed away, the weapon just passed away and we still have the halo of it here. This is how bad TA and how bad FSR 3.1.2 or 3.1.4 just perform. No difference here or basically no difference here in terms of this occlusion and ghosting, it still occurs. Of course this is not this occlusion per se, but it is still a major I issue of FSR 3.1. And yeah, the Raiden 6000 and 7000 series, at least the 7000 series should have something in between like uh, FSR 3.5 that brings something in between FSR 3.1 and um, 4.0 because the difference is definitely crazy. As you can see, side by side slow motion, we can see a lot, lots of artifacts, pixelization at its peak, yeah. Now in Fort Solis I'm also testing FSR 4, so we have FSR 3.1.0, which is the native games implementation, then FSR 3.1.4, updated using the LSS Swapper, and then FSR 4.0.1, which is basically using the 25.5.1 drivers and kind of injecting FSR 4 inside the game through the Adrenaline app. Even with a still image, we can see that FSR 4 just delivers a, well, way more readable, way more clear, the, the clarity of the image is just much better with FSR 4 as it should be. For example, if you look at the borders here, we have lots of pixelization with FSR 3.1.4, same with 3.1, and if we look at the hair, yes, lots of pixelization as you can see, pixelization here, pixelization here, FSR 3.1.4 delivers exactly the same, pixelization, 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 and FSR 4.0.1 just gets rid of most of that pixelization, it still happens for sure, but it gets rid of most of it. And if we look, for example, at the clarity, it is just much better. Look at the letters here, for example, uh, drill uh, deployment and so on. It, they, I'm using a big screen and they are just so much easier to read. It's just so much better. Even the side notes, you can see the text much clearly. Uh, and even on these, these designs here, the map here, you can see that it just looks much better with FSR 4, as it should again. There are several versions of FSR 3.1. If you go to the LSS Swapper, by the way, I have a video on it, and you go to games like Fort Solis, and you go to upgrade the FSR 3.1 version, as you can see, there are several versions of the FSR 3.1.0. The 36208, the 36604, and the 36752. All those versions are 3.1.0, and still, uh, yeah, I guess there are updates of, of each other, and then we have 3.1.1, 3.1.2, 3.1.3, and now 3.1.4, just wanted to let you know these. Now back to the video, as you can see, 0 0.25 times speed, and yeah, FSR 4 just has a, a way more stable image, and the pixelization here is crazy, both with the 3.1.0 and the 3.1.4 updated. I believe that there is no difference whatsoever going from the 3.1.0 to 3.1.4. In this case scenario, it's even worse here with 3.1.4. Um, and I guess the difference is definitely that 3.1.4 is not natively implemented. If the developers just go with the 3.1.4 and implement it natively, on the game or in the game, I believe that it will look better. But as for the update itself, not really. Now we're doing some movement action and this was recorded at 120 FPS in order to, to then slow down the picture. One thing that you most likely didn't notice is that in this part we have lots of ghosting with every single upscaler. Now look at FSR 3.1.0, the game's native implementation. You can see we have ghosting here in the hands when the character is moving, the same happens with ghosting or this occlusion with FSR 3.1.4, so it didn't really fix anything, and the same happens with FSR 4. Even with FSR 4, as you can see here, FSR 3.1.4, and even with FSR 4, that happens. I'll just lock it in for you guys to see. For example, you can see here on this shot that we still have ghosting with FSR 4 in this part, because even for FSR 4, this is quite hard to, well, 
quite hard to distinguish, I would say. But if we're just doing an image comparison without the ghosting, because of course, even the best upscaler still has some ghosting in some scenarios, the difference is just insane. Look, for example, at the letters here. With FSR 3.1.0, the airlock letters are barely readable, and the same still happens with FSR 3.1.4, which is just a minor update. But as soon as we go to FSR 4, the letters are just way clearer, just way easier to read. And the same goes for the details on the door. They are just so so, so much easier to read. And this is 1440p quality, so basically we're upscaling from 960p. Uh, and if we go to the slowdown version 0.15 times, yeah, this is easier to see. Okay, we can see it, basically things going well, decently well, but as soon as we go here, for example, look at the shimmering that we have here on the coats. It still happens. So FSR 3.1.4, Pixelization here, pixelization here, FSR4, basically nothing. Now FSR4 has a little, but look at FSR3.1, it has even more. So, so yeah, this has to do with the game, of course, but FSR4 does fix a lot of issues. Now, this is an interesting part because with FSR 3.1.0 and 3.1.4, we do have a halo um, around the, um, the foliage here something that does not happen with FSR 4.0. Now we're kind of zooming in and you can immediately see that FSR 4 just delivers way better clarity. The lines are just way better. Things, for example, the lines here on the foliage are just way easier to see without as much pixelization. I, I believe there's not really much more to say. I just wanted to show you the halo here at 0 0.25 times. I guess most of you guys are asking yourselves if it is really noticeable in terms of gameplay and I'm using FSR 3.1.4 and I'm using 4K FSR 3 balance, not even the performance mode now, the balance mode. As soon as I press stop, you see things like these, which are insane. And as soon as, we, as we're as we moving, uh, yeah, I mean, it's playable. We're talking about FSR 3 performance. It's playable, but it is not good. As you can see, we can see a lot of shimmer there which is n not nothing really annoying, I would say, but definitely there are lots of shimmer. The, the clarity isn't just great. And we're using FSR 3 balanced at 4K, 3.1.4. Now, this part is quite better for sure. Okay. We don't really have as much shimmering. As soon as we start looking at the light, look, at the moment that we have kind of that, that brightness shifting, we can see that there is a halo around the foliage, the plants there. And the same, if we look, for example, at the hairlock letters, the hairlock letters aren't that readable per se. And yeah, the game is playable, but there are some parts where the shimmering is just too annoying. I'm not even talking about the ghosting because ghosting is kind of okay. -ish. If we're not looking at it, because when you're, when you're running around with the character, you're not looking at the floor. As you can see, you are looking at the character, not at the floor, and you won't really notice the ghosting, I would say. But uh, the other things, the shimmer and so on, yeah. I believe that the shimmer is, is definitely the worst thing of FSR 3.1, and the thing that kind of puts people away from it most of the time. And, and yeah, again, it's just, yeah, just not good. It is just not good. It's playable for sure, but not that great. Look, for example, at the grills there. Yeah, lots of shimmer in the floor. That's one of the things that annoys me the most again. It is just there and you can't really avoid it. Now we can go to Adrenaline Gaming, Games sub tab, and just go to the Fort Solis tab and enable FSR4. As you can see, it is here. And let's see how it goes now. Looking at the, the monitor right now, the image quality, the image clarity is just so, so much different that is actually insane. The character looks much better, much clearer, even with the same balance settings. The books just don't look kind of smudged because they did look smudged before with FSR 3.1.4, with FSR 4.0.1, sorry. They're just looking much better. And as soon as we look to the side, the shimmering is basically null. There's still something there, of course. If you look at the lamp, there's a bit of shimmering there, but way, way less than before. And the image, again, the image clarity is just much better, even if we look at the character like this. Now, we still have some ghosting. Look at the head, for example. 
yeah, the ghosting is still perfectly watchable. But again, I believe that uh, the game needs to adjust the velocity factors and so on. That's the thing that developers need to do. Uh, but yeah, the ghosting is still definitely there. But overall, the image clarity and the quality is so, such a big improvement that it's just insane. For example, looking at the door, I can immediately notice the difference. The door looks kind of smudged with FSR 3.1.4 and it looks just so clear with FSR 4.0.1. Looking at the, the leaves again, the, the plant or the foliage, even when we have that brightness shifting, you can't basically see any type of halo, something that we'd notice immediately with FSR 3.1.4. As soon as you look at the letters, airlock letters, the stairwell ladders elevator just looks much, much better overall. And yeah, of course, the ghosting is still there, but the the shimmering is basically gone and we have such an improvement in image quality that is crazy. Look at, the, um, at the, the grills where we had lots of shimmer. We still have a bit of it right now. And remember, this is not FSR4 officially implemented in the game. It is just basically adrenaline injecting FSR4 inside the game, which is totally different. And well, people, this is all to say that FSR 3.1.4 is definitely welcomed, especially in some games. And if you are using OptiScaler, instead of using FSR2 or, or something else, you can use FSR 3.1.3. In some games, in some games, it is some games. <laughs> In some games, it might make the difference. For example, in games like Red Dead Redemption 2, it might make the difference going from the game's native implementation to FSR 3.1.4. I mean, it will definitely make the difference because I believe Red Dead Redemption 2 is only running FSR 2. So if you use OptiScaler to use FSR 3.1.4 instead of FSR 2, the difference will just be great. Especially, again, in terms of ghosting, disocclusion, and so on. But generally... Yeah, unless FSR 3.1.4 is officially implemented, kind of natively implemented by the developers in their game, the difference is basically null. At least from what I've tested in these two games, in Fort Solis and Silent Hill 2, even going from FSR 3.1.0 to FSR 3.1.4, the difference is basically null. But yeah, it's always welcomed, especially since there are lots of people with older cards, um, and even recent cards that don't support FSR 4, like the RX 7000 series, that have to rely on XSS or FSR 3. So FSR 3.1.4 is definitely welcomed, and I really hope that AMD brings something like FSR 3.5, at least FSR 3.5, to the, to the RX 7000 series. Something like Intel did with XCSS, where they have a superior version for their cards, but they have the free and open source version of the upscaler for the other cards. Again, the XMX version and the DP4A version. The DP4A is for the other cards, the open version, and the XMX version, which is the superior one, is for their cards only. So again, AMD, oh, sorry, AMD could do something like that just kind of a superior version for the cards with AI cores, like 7000 series or maybe just 9000 series and above, but then deliver a version better than FSR 3.1.4, way better, I hope, but uh, again, that works with basically every single card. That's all for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know if you are using FSR 3.1.2. If you notice the big difference going from 3.1.0 to 3.1.4. If you are using OptiScaler with 3.1.4, just let me know in the comment sections. The comment sections. Really, it just, it's obvious that I just woke up like two hours ago or even less than that. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.